I don't know about you, but I'm obsessed with Anthropology's floral painted and color washed mirrors. My name is Cherie, and I'm going to show you how I DIY'd my own. I'm starting off with a couple frames I already had. I work in custom framing for a living, and we have an as-is department like most frame stores do, so I got these for a couple bucks a piece. I started both of these projects the same way. I'm using Krylon looking glass and a 50-50 vinegar water spray. Starting with the floral painted mirror first, I'm using a technique that I've seen several other people do. I'm basically spraying the mirror with a vinegar water mixture, then I go back over that with the Krylon looking glass and do a thin coat over that vinegar water solution and let it sit for a couple minutes before going back and dabbing away the vinegar water. Side note, your spray paint should not drop massive droplets like mine was doing. I don't know what was going on with this can of spray paint. I've tried this technique two different ways. I have sprayed the glass with vinegar water first before using the Krylon spray paint. I've also sprayed with the Krylon spray paint first and then gone back and sprayed over that with the vinegar water solution. I would have to say they both work pretty well. Spraying it with the vinegar solution first does seem to leave less of the mirrored finish effect. So if you're going for less, that would probably be the way to go. I felt like whenever I used the vinegar water solution, after letting the mirrored effect spray paint sit on the glass for a couple minutes, it seemed to stick better and in larger portions. I repeated this process over and over again until I got the desired effect. Also, I did wipe it away instead of dabbing it in a couple places to get a more smeared look that I was going for. I decided I wanted to see how it would work out to use fabric instead of trying to hand paint these flowers. So I went to Walmart and I picked up this length of fabric in a floral print similar to the one Anthropology has on their mirrors for only a couple bucks. I took the foam core backing from my picture frame and used that to trace the size of fabric needed for this project. Next, I used a foam brush and painted a layer of Mod Podge on the back side of the glass. Make sure you do this on the side of the glass that you also spray painted. After getting the full coat of Mod Podge on the glass, I took my fabric and smoothed it out over the surface, then added a layer of Mod Podge onto the back of the fabric. Make sure you work out any wrinkles or creases in the fabric before leaving this to dry. I decided to spray paint my frames gold. And as you will soon learn, Gold spray paint is one of my absolute favorite things in this world. Once the Mod Podge and the frame had dried, I took an X-Acto knife and trimmed the excess material off the sides of my mirror. The only thing left to do is get our mirror installed into our picture frame. Here's the finished product. 
I will say that taking a picture or a video of a mirror has proven extremely difficult. So I don't know if this does it justice or not. I absolutely love the way it turns out. It's the perfect mixture of worn mercury looking glass with that beautiful floral print just popping through. Next, we'll go ahead and move on to the color washed mirror. So the color washed mirror starts off pretty much the same as the floral painted mirror. Really the only difference is the color washed mirror has a lot more of a kind of wiped look. So I did a lot less blotting and a lot more kind of wiping away of the vinegar water mixture whenever I was doing the mirrored finish on this one. And the other main difference is it obviously doesn't have any fabric or floral print. So I actually ended up making this particular mirror twice. I'm going to show you the process with the first one because that's the one that I think turned out the best. But I'll tell you what I did differently on the second one and also show you the finished product on the second one. So I took a coral colored spray paint and sprayed it sporadically over the mirrored finish after the mirrored finish was completely dry. Then I decided to test something out and I sprayed the vinegar water mixture over that coral paint to try to blot it away. This did not work as effectively as it does on the mirror spray paint and really I was only able to blot away what was still semi-wet. The second one that I did, I did not use the vinegar water mixture and I did not try to blot any of it away and you'll see in the end why I think this was the better option. If I were going to go back and do it again, I probably would have sprayed at least plain water on the mirror. That way it would have been a little easier to pick up a few pieces of that coral spray paint where I wanted to. When I was done with the coral spray paint, I went over the entire mirror with a black spray paint. After the black spray paint completely dried, I just installed this into its frame the same way I installed the other one. And here is the finished product. I really love the way both of these mirrors turned out. I don't know that I could pick a favorite between the two of them. I know these aren't specifically bathroom decor, but I did make these specifically to go into the bathroom that I'm currently remodeling. I recently made some acrylic cabinet and drawer pulls for that bathroom, so if you are interested in seeing those, I will link those in the description below. And I will also be doing several other projects for this bathroom coming up in the near future, so if you'd like to see those, feel free to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And here is the second of this mirror that I made. It's not terrible, but it's a lot splotchier than I wanted and it doesn't seem to have as seamless of a blended finish as the other one does. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.